Hi guys, and hello from the hilltop. I'm Waxa Hachi Blue, and I welcome you to my channel, The Plateau Perfectionist. Today's video is my setup for the second half of, of 2022, and this is the new journal that I will be using for the rest of the year. So this is a Vivid Scribbles journal. It is uh, 200 pages with 160 GSM paper. I bought it off of Amazon and it came with these really pretty stickers and then the reason I decided to go with this one was because of the cat. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I thought the cat was just too cute to pass up so I went with this lovely blue color and um, it came with, it has three little ribbons, it has a pin holder, the traditional elastic band and um, I will show you here in a little bit. It also has a pocket in the back and I loved the entrance or not the entrance, the front page. Um, but it also, I didn't know this when I bought it, but it comes with a, a spot for a key, a couple of pages for index, and then just showing you some of the blank pages. So I did get this out and just do a little bit of sketching to um, start with my setup colors and all this other stuff. Uh, so the colors that I had for this particular month were a dark teal zebra mod liner and a Tombow in the number 663, I think. It, it comes in the bold uh, set or the, not necessarily the neon set, but like a, it's, it's the bold set. And um, anyway, so it was a uh, dark teal and green. And then I also threw in this uh, Le Pen that is in a very similar dark teal color. And I didn't quite know what I wanted to do with these, honestly. So I just kind of started slapping things together. Uh, I thought of doing this little orange cat, as you see in the bottom right hand on the other page. And then I thought of doing, well, cat tails, which they're just kind of a scribble art style and, and just go from there. I will wholeheartedly be honest. I hated this color combo. <laughs> it just did not show well on video. Um, so I noticed after, after I was done filming and was editing that when I have a page that has a lot of the orange color on it, it turned my camera contrast, I guess, more on the warm side. And I just kind of left it alone. I didn't really want to mess with the the cinematography, the, the tint and stuff too horribly much just because it does bounce back and forth like right here um, with the light changing and whatnot. I don't know why my my video changes like this. If I knew how to fix it, I would. I'm still learning how to do video videography. But in the meantime, um, I did add a little bit of black just to kind of show the puffiness that is the, the cattails and it yeah so here's where you really get to see the dark teal color it doesn't really look very dark on this on this video but it, it is darker if you compare it to the regular zebra mod liner teal color so the dark teal comes in a set of five um actually let me let me re rephrase that so the standard set of 15 zebra mod liners that you get does come with a teal but the dark teal you can only get in the smaller sets of five that are kind of like the off offsets I guess you know just like Tombos come in in small sets of about five or ten depending on, on what it is the zebra mod liners can also do the same um, I ended up buying all the the colors um, for like a Christmas present or something to myself a few years back. I, I forget honestly when I bought them. Uh, but I wanted to get all of the colors of the Zebra Mod Liners because I dearly love the Zebra Mod Liners. I think they layer beautifully. Um, and that way I would have all the colors that they made. And I do believe I have all the colors that they make currently. Um, but yeah, I just decided to... Um, I love them because they're also dual-ended. So here I am using the finer end, whereas on the other page, especially for that frame, I use the fat tip, the chisel tip. And yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> These, I, I, as I mentioned, the color combination just doesn't do justice on film. To be honest, it doesn't really do justice uh, in real life either. They just, they didn't mesh well. And when I originally got these colors, I thought of doing kind of like a beach theme, but at the same time, I already did that for the month of April, and I just didn't want to do that again. I, I don't like to duplicate myself. Ex I can get close. I will do things that are similar, but I don't like to just straight out duplicate. 
So that's why I kind of went with the cat and the cattails. I will say um, I've, I did also kind of get into my stash of like, I have a bunch of stickers and things that I haven't really, I don't use very often. I keep them because I enjoy stickers and they do work in certain aspects. Um, but I decided to go ahead and pull some of those out because I knew I had a little Mr. Paper box set of plants, like house plants, but they are like a, a, they have greens as well as oranges and the orange matches very similar to the orange of the Tombow. So I pulled those out as well as an extra set that kind of matched those stickers and I use them throughout the rest of the spreads and I think it looks, makes everything look a little more cohesive. But I really didn't use them on this particular spread, uh, except for um, kind of just a few here and there at the end, just because the, I, I liked, I do like the cat. The cat is cute, <laughs> and I just you know I'm gonna give him pride, pride of place. But um, anyway, so you'll you'll also see a couple stickers here in the end, uh, towards the end. But in the meantime, uh, just kind of you know, here I am filling out the title page. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to say is I want to apologize for this particular video and the July plan with me being a little late. So we've had a bit of, uh, I've been busy. Uh, something that happened that was very unexpected is we had, so sometime in the last month we had a chunk of our roof blow off. We had a really bad windstorm and I, we have a metal roof on the house and, um, the a, a portion of it went flying off of our roof uh, and it's directly over my bedroom. <laughs> um, so since then we, we have, we, I live in the desert, so we didn't have much rain and we didn't have to, as long as there's no rain, we don't have to worry about it. But in the meantime, the monsoon season has finally come and we've had to move furniture because the, the crew that will be coming to repair the roof, we had to move everything out of the hallway because that's where the attic access is and they're going to be moving 12 foot pieces, planks of wood up there to do stuff on the inside of the attic. We also had to empty the attic and move everything out of there as well as rebox some things that got wet and then I had to doing a, a massive rearranging of my room because the, we did find a leak and it was directly over my bed. <laughs> so uh, in short, I've been busy. <laughs> and um, so my bullet journaling just kind of had to be put by the wayside. And then there, of course there were some other things involving my work uh, due to the new fiscal year coming up and, and, and all that good stuff. So uh, not an excuse, just an explanation as to why this particular video is coming in at about the time I usually do my plan with me's and then my plan with me will be a little bit late but I still wanted to get a video out about the same time that I usually do. So um, one of the great things about Tombow's as you can see is it gives you a great bold color and like I said this particular one comes in the bold collection I think of about five or ten. I bought it at Walmart. Um, but another thing is um, they they layer very quick uh very easily and you don't quite see it here because i'm still doing the first layer but as i do some extra shading you can see where i've put just a few um stripes on the cat because i, I have had uh, orange tabbies which do have a little bit of stripe here and there kind of like garfield uh, but other than that, I really didn't do much to this cat. Oh, and the, I need to make a correction. The number of this Tombow is 933, not 663. That's a different one. Um, so yes, 933 is the, the number on this Tombow. But yes, just adding a little bit of shading, a little bit of stripes to the cat, just to give him a little bit of extra character. And other than some stickers, I'm pretty much done with this spread. I didn't use any washi for this whole setup just because I figured the stickers would be just just good enough. So I did include a grid spacer. I've done this grid spacer for a couple of times now. It, it does come in handy but I think I could probably tweak it a little bit and probably for the next year to um, make it a little more user friendly. I have seen Plant Based Bride do a fold out that she attaches that kind of folds in folds out so she can have it out and be able to view it whenever she is working on a different spread without having to flip back and forth. I have also seen some use um, that mildly partial transparent 
paper. I think it's called like vellum. Is it vellum or I don't know something with an um at the end. <laughs> um, see, there we go. <laughs> uh, but they they will. It's it'll like be a partially detachable that it can they can lay it over the page so they can kind of see where things they want to go. Um, so probably in the next setup that I do for year 2023, you will more than likely see this particular spread, but maybe in a slightly different way. Uh, in the meantime, I just kind of kept with the colors. I did move my lines just a little bit. I noticed where I had set up the lines, I had some numbers crashing into each other. So I decided to shift them just very slightly. Um, either up one or, or to the left or to the right one just to kind of give my numbers a more cohesive space um, and Yeah, I'm just I just kept with the colors since I did technically technically have three colors Which is the Le Pen the Tombow and then the zebra mod liner um, That's where the three colors come from so I will let y'all watch finishing this up and I will talk to you later in the next spread. So for the year of 2022, I do a word for each year, and the word for this year was choice, because that was the word that I decided to go with. <laughs> and while I did enjoy doing a two-page spread la for the last journal that had this word, so I'd have more room to, to make my sticky notes that I put my, my goals or my affirmations or whatever you want to call them, I decided just to do a one-page here, mostly because I had this freebie space here and I really didn't want to do a quote I, I don't know why I just wasn't in the mood for quote pages for this particular bit so I just decided to do my uh, word for the year here they did kind of get a little scrunched at the end but mm, yeah um, and then what I ended up doing uh, so the last time I did a bunch of flowers I didn't really do any flowers I just I just did stickers <laughs> um, these setup spreads I just I don't know what it maybe it was the color scheme I, I think it honestly was the colors I just did not have the gumption to really put horrible amounts of effort into these setup spreads you can probably tell <laughs> um, but yeah I just I, I wanted to just keep it keep it minimal because my my gumption was gone so I added a few stickers and then I uh, ended up pulling my sticky notes out of my old journal and just adding them here so these are some affirmations you know I choose to because the word is choice um, three goals that I am actually really pushing towards uh, trying to accomplish this year and I actually have gotten pretty good on at least a couple of them I've been keeping consistent with my Spanish lessons as well as um, I am really getting the brushing my teeth turned into a routine and I almost have it down to a routine I'm very happy with it and I will go back to that when I get to the uh, 4321 challenge which I'll get to that so this is my future log. I decided to change it up just a little bit. I use my future log a lot. I write a lot of things on my future log, not just birthdays and super weird appointments, but anything and everything that I can remember to write down that I know is upcoming, especially months in advance, like um, the annual Christmas party that has been established for months on end, or um, plans for... A specific holiday that I know I just know is gonna happen and I like to write it down on my future log 
so I like to have more room than you see in the average bullet journal spread for the future log. As it stands, I decided to give it this extra little bit of space, so there will be three months on this, these two pages, and then you'll flip it, and there'll be three months on the other page. And I didn't, you know, get fancy with the script, but something that I did, I did kind of enjoy the humor of, was as I had this cut out, and I did a little scribble background for each of the months. I don't know about you, but I think everybody knows how to write a calendar in their bullet journal, or at least I would hope they would know. Um, so I went ahead and just, I had some dot index cards, which I found at Walmart. And I went ahead and just wrote out the calendars. And then I just, uh, I had some extra pieces from, from where I cut out the little wedgie bit. Wedgie bit. <laughs> And I used it as an outline to to make these borders for my calendars, just to kind of give it a little bit of a pop of color, um, but just make it whimsy, and yeah, just make it whimsy. And so yeah. And I actually did this kind of smartly, I guess you could say, because July is a month that I'm usually very busy, and then December is usually a month that I am very busy. So the way that it all spaced out, July and December are the larger, quote unquote, months, or have more room to write, and cool. Although I probably should have changed it up and made it October. I don't know why, but I have a lot of birthdays in October. A lot of birthdays. Like eight, eight birthdays in October. And they're, they're important birthdays, like my dad, and my brother-in-law, and nieces and nephews, and yeesh. Anyway, so for the bottom of these two pages, um, just to kind of make them a little more cohesive, I ended up using some of the the stickers to kind of, you, you'll, you'll see it. I actually think it turned out really cool. And I'm, I'm glad I got to use these stickers, because uh, like I said, I don't use stickers all that often. And these were those ones that are on the clear backgrounds. They're not just the paper backgrounds, although they're kind of intermixed because some are the paper and some are the, the clear background. But they layer really nicely. And um, so I just kind of popped them here and there, added them accordingly. Um, I, in the end, the future log was probably my favorite spread because everything just kind of seemed to be proportioned well maybe or it, at least it appealed more to my eye so you've probably seen everybody and their brother do a future log but in the meantime i'll stop talking so you can just kind of enjoy and and hopefully feel inspired
So the last two spreads that I am doing for the setup here are tiebacks to my last setup. So at the beginning of the year, I decided to do a 4-3-2-1 challenge, which are four different habits that I'm trying to do either 400, 300, 200, or 100 times in order to either build a habit or turn a habit into a routine. So I... These boxes are what I have left of the habits. And so um, I've been slacking on walking, so that's why there's the most boxes for walk. Yoga is about the same, but my brushing my teeth, I only have, I think, maybe 140 days left or 140 times left. And then meditate has also been really slacking. I've pretty much almost given up on meditation, oh, but I have changed it up a little bit i have started doing some alternative exercises so maybe i'll just nix the meditate altogether and start putting down exercises who knows but in the meantime this is what's left of the 4321 challenge hopefully i will get it finished or i will make a pretty good dent in it in the meantime the other spread is um save now for fun or yeah for fun later and I finished paying off my student loans last year, yay me, and this time I am trying to save about as much as I, I put towards my student loans so I can buy my own car and potentially my own place. However, I have been slacking on this something fierce. Um, it's one of those, you know, since I don't have a, a deadline like I did, which was paying off the student loans, I've been letting it fall by the wayside. I've been, uh, I've bought a few new clothes, I've uh, put some more money into my investments, and not necessarily put it into savings like I was planning on it. So even here, halfway through the year, I've only saved roughly about $4,000. So I still have 6000 7000 more to go. No, I've only saved about 3000 That's why I mathed it all wrong, because I thought I had four, but no, I only have three. <laughs> But yeah, so that's what that is. In the meantime, here is the just general flip through. Uh, this was not my personal favorite video, but in regardless, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you feel inspired. It was, you know, I did the two color challenge, so I went with what I had and I made it work. My setup is done and is ready for the next six months. Am I going to use it? Heck to the yeah. And I just hope you enjoyed it. Now, Thank you for watching because y'all are awesome and I appreciate you, you know, listening to me for this amount of time. So, like I've been doing, here is my drawing for the next two colors. These will be for July. I, I will warn you now, I already know what colors I'm doing because I, I pulled these the same day I did the colors for the other one, or for the setup. So it says Sharpie, uh, Brush Tip, and Light Orange. And then it is an Art 101 in purple. And I know exactly what I'm doing with these. I have a lot more oomph and gumption to get this one done. But we'll have to see uh, pending on roof work when I can get it out. In the meantime, I will see y'all then. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>